Today we harvested some yellow and green squash from our garden. So excited, one of my favorite dishes I love to make is eggs with squash and basically it's so easy. I just saute up the squash first in some butter and then I whisk up some eggs, add it to the pan once the squash is cooked down a little bit. I like it a little bit crispy though and it's gonna be so good with the egg and then I mix it all together, let it cook really well. I don't really like red the eggs so but I do like it done enough so you'll see how beautiful the eggs fold into the squash and the butter and at the very end I'm going to top it with some fresh parsley and basil that we also harvested from our garden this morning Today I harvested some yellow squash and green zucchini to make an egg omelet or somewhat of like an egg scramble. Basically what I did was I melted some butter, I heat up my pan first on a medium heat, then I added the butter, melted that down about a tablespoon, added my chopped zucchini and yellow squash, cooked that down until it was browned and when you saw me flipping it a few times, I was cooking it just until it was browned over. I still I like it a little bit crispy as well, but I really like that caramelization that the butter creates on the squash when it's browned. It's really yummy. Then I added the eggs. And remember, I added a little bit of water to the eggs earlier. Some people add milk or dairy. I like water, it actually makes the eggs fluffy. So I whisked that up and I added that to the squash and let that cook over. And you could also see that I was flipping it here and there, making sure that it was evenly cooked. I don't like my eggs runny on the inside, so you know, cook your eggs a little bit less. After it was all cooked on the inside, I made sure the veggies were cooked with the egg on it. On the inside, I flipped it over. I cut it into sections as well, so it was a little bit easier to cook. Then I sprinkled a little bit of cheddar Monterey Jack cheese on the top. Let that melt and then I garnished and for flavor too I added some fresh parsley and basil. 